Another story about another dude cop right here. Check this out. A Tampa cop gets canned after dragging woman to central booking. Yep. Tampa cop loses a job after dragging woman through jail. Check it out. Loses his job after dragging a woman through jail. Let's take a look at this because it's really despicable. Okay. All right. And remember, they know cameras are in the courtroom here. Well, look, I got the right to get out the car when I had a right to get in the car. Miss Marshall, hmm. get out the car. Come on. Miss Marshall, I'm going to drag you out of this car. I already know. I don't want to drag you out, me. but I need you to come get I out the car. To to do what you did off the porch of the doctor's office. Come on. Drag me. Come on. I want you to drag me. Come on. Yeah. That's what you're going to have to do. That's what you did at the porch. That's what you want to do, in, and I want you to get that thing, guess what? Because I was raised a ton of boys, such a ball process. So guess what? I'm used to being rough. Why? Look at that. Watch that. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Spickable fucking pig. Blatantly spickable. Oh, wait. It's not done yet. Oh, look at that. See? Look at that. Look at that. You have got to be kidding me. Drags her all the way from the, from the patrol car. Yeah, I meant to say body cam footage there. It really is horrific. It's horrific wait. to watch that. As it the is. officer even pauses, it's talking to someone. It's fucked up. Um, That's highly disturbing. This woman by her hair. And for those people, Jeff, I'll come to you first, then fill in more details. You can say, well, she asked him to drag her. Suspects, people in custody say a lot of things. Yeah. Well, yeah, he didn't have to oblige. I mean, uh, how many people across the country have gone, hands up, don't shoot, and, well, exactly. you know the rest. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, I've been in the back of a police cruiser handcuffed. Don't ask questions. Just one time. Roll with it. And I'm just wondering why he couldn't leave her back there before he got some assistance in order to help with the situation. But I'm sure you'll have more information coming up right now. Uh, Gregory Damon. Uh, who's been with the department as a patrol officer, uh, Jeff, since August 2016. Can we get all the rest of the, can we get years of body? I'd like to know what this call rest of that for. There's more, okay. Uh, <laughs> fired, though. There's this. Fired yeah. on Tuesday for this November incident. At the yeah, he got fired for doing that. He was initially only placed on administrative leave. You know how that goes. Yeah. The department conducted an internal investigation. And this time they really apparently conducted an internal investigation and determined he violated multiple policies related to searching, transporting, and booking prisoners. Courtesy to the public, reporting response to resistance, treatment of persons in custody, and more. So this was a real one, okay? This is a real one that the public has apparently complained about for a long time, but wanted to be judge, jury, executioner perhaps yeah. that's what cops uh, tend to be judge during the execution won't feel interim soon. tampa police chief lee burkhall said quote professionalism is not only expected it is demanded in every it is demanded have with the public <laughs> regardless of the arrestee being uncooperative or unpleasant in return now, that's all we've been asking isn't that all we're asking for yeah. okay you're supposed to protect and serve and that includes people who... Yeah, protect and serve, not abuse and, yeah, and violate. You're transporting people who you're arresting. More background. Damon was one of the officers called to the Tampa Family Health Center November 17th about someone sleeping outside oh, the property, refusing to leave. TPD said this. The woman was previously warned for trespassing on the same property. A month prior to the incident, so she was arrested and taken to jail by Damon. When they arrived at the jail, the woman refused to get out of the patrol car. You saw that, you heard that. Yep. Didn't want to walk into central booking, according to the police department. On the body cam video released by the police department, 
Again, you heard her yelling at the officer, I want you to drag me. Well, the video then shows Damon, of course, taking her by the arm, dragging her from the vehicle in the entrance to the jail where he buzzed the door. That's what he was doing there, prompting other deputies to come to help lift the woman from the ground. Throughout the incident, the woman used vulgar and obscene language, according to the department. But again, you heard what the chief said, right? There's lots of people who are uncooperative. They're not happy about their predicament. They're picked up. So what is oh, that? Oh, yeah. Matter? When you get, when you, when you get arrested wrong. and taken to jail, you can be pissed off. press release on the incident, quote, rather than remaining professional, Damon himself made rude and derogatory comments to the arrestee. Tampa police also said the woman was uninjured during the incident. Mm. Officials with TPD explained they revised the policy on handling uncooperative prisoners after a similar incident in 2013 with an uncooperative person in custody. They said the new policy added specific language against dragging and said it was never an appropriate practice. According to the department, the correct procedure would have been to request assistance, just like you said, Jeff, Mm -hmm. from the booking staff. Lift the person from the vehicle, secure them in a restraining chair to be rolled into intake. The department was made aware of the incident by supervisors at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, which operates the county detention facilities. Damon was relieved of his duties once TPD opened up an investigation into the incident on November 18th. After reviewing the video from the incident and interviewing Damon, they made the decision to fire the officer. (laughs) That according to the officials. So I guess, Jeff, the question is what we saw was reprehensible, but surely there was so much more here and they knew. Anytime the police say, you're out of here, don't you think that that means there was more to it with this officer? And they said, next chance we got, we got, he's a real liability. Yeah, usually in this situation, there's like more to it as in an investigation and he was asked to be on like, I don't know, paperwork or office duty for a while, or maybe they were, you know, set aside while they're still getting paid or something like that. For them to come back with this investigation and say you're done is very surprising. And I think it's the right move, sure. Yeah. But yeah, I'm very much caught off guard by the fact that they were so punitive. Like they got rid of this guy pretty quick. It makes me wonder if there was something else that we don't know about. But look, another thing that I thought of when I saw this story was how do we reform this? Like people who advocate for like more training for police officers, I'm sure he knew what to do. The video shows Damon taking her by the arm and dragged her from the vehicle to the entrance of the jail where he buzzed the door, prompting deputies to come help lift the woman from the ground. Why couldn't he do that and like leave her in the car? That's what I was alluding to earlier, by the way. He could, couldn't he have left her in the car, buzz the other deputies, they come up and then take her? Like, yeah. Yeah. Where, where's the reform and training of that? I'm sure he knew what to do mm-hmm. in that situation, but chose to drag her instead. Yeah, yeah, he just, he just decided to choose to be, be a know, coward. Physically stressful, too, to have this encounter if you're so inclined to behave in this filthy manner. Yeah. And when you say, how do we reform this? I, I couldn't agree with you more. Because at the end of the day, you can have a policy, but you can't have a policy to make people care about other people. Mm. Did not view this woman who, I don't know her full predicament. Okay. I don't know her full circumstance. But we got the report, trespassing. Sleeping outside, refusing yeah. to leave. It's kind of like the old saying. Maybe she was asking, "What does it mean you need to do it?" Here, she has some challenges. Why is that personal to you as an officer, right? And I do want to say and get you to comment on one other thing because it seems like these firings and we're so shocked and yeah, it was quick and this and that and it was. As long as they keep it that way, they're so rare. This kind of um, swift internal justice by police, we don't get to the next part, which is shouldn't this person be charged with assault? When is an assault? Good point. Jeff, don't go dragging somebody by their hair. I assure you, you will get much different. You won't just be fired, okay? Yeah. Clinkity clink. And I don't know why you <laughs> clinkity in the back clink. Of a police car. And maybe you want to tell us, elaborate. I'm sure, it was a long time ago. You have kids now. It could be yeah, a teaching yeah, yeah, moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can hear me, by the way. Yeah, no, <laughs> I was driving the car. The police pulled up, pulled me over. They said I have faulty tags. Apparently, my older sister's tags were on my car, and it was the wrong know. car. So. So there's there's that, there's that. Now they said, well, whose tags are they? And I said, my sister's name. She goes by Nikki. I said, Nikki. They were like, no, it belongs to Arnitra. I'm like, that's Nikki. They assumed I lied. Yeah. And so 
I spent a night in jail. And look, let me tell you, okay? Let me tell you. My kids were watching a Mr. Beast video just yesterday, and they were, like, running around jail for, like, 50 hours. And I said, kids, it's nothing like that. Yes. It is, that place is gross, and it's ugly, and so. Did you get a meal in there? No, I was out by the morning, so I spent, I don't know, seven, eight hours in there, and I, I never went back. I never planned on going back. Me neither. I never plan to go back to jail. Okay. Dude, okay. I've been to jail. I mean, it sucks. Uh, it anyway, fucking blatantly sucks. I just sucks. think that it's time for us to move beyond <laughs> expecting, you know, firings here. And can somebody else face jail in a uniform? Is it, is, We're not allowed to put any police behind bars, apparently, um, or not enough. That's my... Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> God, man. Another cop making headway news for the wrong reason. This is the case of happy fight the cops say fuck the police. Yeah. Anyways, I'm out here. Mind your peace out.